Hello friends, welcome to my channel Power BI Skills. In our today's video, I am going to share with you a very useful trick of incorporating pop-up comments in your reports. These comments would be dynamic and these would change when you change a different options in your slicer or filter. Friends, in the corporate world, when we have to share reports and dashboard to the senior leadership team, we don't just share the data with multiple visuals. They expect us to share our own analysis and commentary about the data. Therefore, it is very important to provide our analysis and comments in the report. So let's get started and see how we can incorporate it, pop-up comments in our dashboard and reports. So friends, this is the simple data set I have showing the sales made by multiple salesmen, the products they have sold and the quantity they have sold on various dates. On the other tab, I have a rate list showing the rate of each of the product. And in the third tab, which is a comments tab, I have incorporated year and the comments pertaining to that year. So if you want to publish a monthly dashboard, you can create a month level comments and save it in Excel and you can upload the sheet in Power BI. So let's see once this is uploaded, how we can incorporate those pop-up comments. Now you can see this data is uploaded. I have made some calculation here. I have brought a selling price in our example one tab from the rate list tab through the lookup value function, which we had discussed in our uh, DEX functions video. You can refer to my video. You can see the links appearing on the screen. So this is very simple. So we are bringing the rate of each of the product from the rate list tab. We have calculated the sales value by multiplying quantity with the selling price. And we have incorporated the year as well. So year would be like year and the date. So we'll get uh, from this particular function, uh, we'll get the year from this date itself. So let's say the date is 5th January, 2022. I'll use the function year bracket, then the date column, then I'll get the corresponding year from this particular function. Now, if you go to the comments tab, we have already mentioned the year there. So we have year common in my example one tab and the comments tab. One thing I would do, I'll build a relationship between these two fields so that once I'll change this option from the slicer, the uh, comments would be updated accordingly. I'll show you with the example. First, I'll create the relationship. I'll go to manage relationship. I'll have to create new. Then I'll have to first select uh, tab example one. So you can see the year which we had calculated is appearing here. And then we'll have to select comments tab. And here we have year common. And then we just have to click OK. Since I've already created this relationship, so that's why it is showing that this relationship already exists. So, but in your case, you will create this relationship. So once this is done, I'll simply go to uh, visual and start creating the comments pop-up. This is a simple sales report we have, where we have two visuals. A uh, left visual, which is a column chart is showing sales made by multiple salesmen and on the right side we have sales by product name so if you notice a button on the sales by column visual you can see this is the comments button and once we click on this button you will get the comments so this is the analysis about the sales report which you can incorporate and if you want to go back and hide this, you have to again click on the back button and this would be hidden. 
and let's say if you have to click on this again and you would have observed that uh, in the slicer the year which is selected is 2022 now if i select the year to 2023 you will see the commentary is changed so we have a specific commentary for a particular year now again i can hide this by clicking on this back button so this is it now let's learn the trick of incorporating these comments in our dashboards or reports so friends we'll start with adding a button uh, i'll go to insert and i'll go to buttons and i'll select the information button i'll place this button here so this is my comment button now i'll have to uh, insert an image for a call out so this is the image which uh, i have uh, taken from uh, powerpoint you can simply uh, pick the call out uh, visual from powerpoint and you can uh, save this call out visual as image in your system in your desktop and you can use that so this is what i have done I will add a card here. So I'll pick a card and I'll place this card over here. And now I will insert one more button, which is a back button. I will place this button here. Okay. Now I will insert my comments in the card. So I'll select the card, go to comments, and I'll drag comments onto the field. Now you can see the comments are appearing here. I'll have to format this a bit. I'll go to format. I'll remove the category label and uh, I'll reduce the font size of uh, fallout value to 15. So now you can see the comments are clearly appearing here. Now I'll go to view and I will open bookmark and selection window. Now first I will select the back button. I'll select the card and I will select the callout image and I will group these three and I will rename this group to comments now I will add a bookmark and I will change the name of this bookmark to comments And now in the selection window, I would hide the comments group by selecting or clicking on the I. So you can see that comments are now hidden. And I would now add another bookmark after hiding those uh, this group of comments. And I'll name this bookmark as back. So friends now you can see if you click on back bookmark then the comments would hide and if you click on comments bookmark 
then comments would be visible. Now let's assign these bookmarks to the respective buttons. For that, I will have to select a button, the comments button first. I will have to go to button option in format. In action, I will have to activate or on this and then from type i will select bookmark and from bookmark i will select comments and i will also enable the tooltip and here i would write comments so it is already written so let me just print that Okay, I'll do the same procedure for my second button, which is back. So I'll select this button, go to format button, and in action, I will on the action option. And here, I will select bookmark, and in bookmark, I will select back. And in tooltip, I will select, I will write back. So now this is done. I would hide all these windows. So if I click on back, then comments window will be hidden. And if I click on comments, then it would appear. And the other thing, as I've already mentioned, these are the dynamic uh, comments or uh, analysis. If I select the year 2023, we will get the comments for 2023. And for 22, we'll get the comments for 2022. Again, if I have to hide these comments, I'll go to back and those comments will be hidden. So, Friends, I hope you have understood how to uh, add a pop-up comments in our uh, Power BI dashboard. I'm sure you would be able to uh, implement this or apply this in your Power BI dashboard. Thanks for watching, friends. We'll meet in our next video. Till then, bye. Take care.